This is Asus X54C series laptop have a charging problem. It only charges in a certain position. The power jack which is located on the left side seems to be fine. It's not loose. Looks like the problem is in a charging tip. Let's turn him on and check how he charges and um, what actually wrong. I will be using another universal power adapter in case if the tip is bad to identify the power jack if he good or if he lose. Laptop turn on and switched off almost just right away. That's why since there is a charging problem with the original charger let's try to use Rocketfish universal adapter. This Rocketfish is actually pretty good. Got him refurbished. It does have all necessary tips and power on any laptop in 90 watt range. This Asus X54C is new laptop and those Rocketfish adapters was made approximately in 2011. This laptop was made after and while looking in a manual and trying to find the correct tip I actually cannot find here Asus X54C model. That's why I will manually will find the tip. But most of the tips that ASUS are using is MT5, most of them, and some of them is MT41, so we will pay attention to both tips, MT5 or MT41. MT5 tip did not fit, it's a way too small, and MT41 tip fits perfectly into this AC jack. Alright, let's plug it to the main Rocketfish adapter itself and try to provide this ASUS X54C with power. Sorry, not to provide, to supply him with power. Alright, as soon as it, it was plugged, we saw that current starts circulating. Let's turn him on. And from this perspective, I found out that it's not a power adapter issue, it's a power jack, which is loose on a motherboard itself. When I'm pulling down just a little bit and holding it myself, I can see the battery indicator is on. As soon as I'm releasing the tip, indicator light is gone. It's a loose power jack. But anyway, this is a perfect demonstration that this Rocketfish adapter can power on, recharge and test troubleshoot almost any laptop. This Asus X54C laptop have a loose power jack, that's why he doesn't power on. We tried several different adapters. If we pull it down, it starts charging the battery. As you can see, you have to manually hold it. It means that the power jack is loose. At the beginning, I was thinking that it, it could be power faulty power adapter jack, but then we found out that it's a jack on a motherboard, which is bad. Because this happens with different adapters. The same. And it's becoming worse and worse. You have to hold it every time to make him charging. That's why this Asus X54C have to be taken apart and his power jack have to be resoldered. The new replacement is needed. In solder position is possible to stabilize it by pressing down so all contacts are fitted to the motherboard and it's possible to recharge him like this to, pro to supply him with power in a certain position. Alright, let's order the new power jack and proceed for the assembly of this Asus X54C 
and let's resolder his power jack on the motherboard. Since we do have a charging issue with this Asus X54C, the replacement jack was ordered. It's pretty small compared to the laptop itself. And today we will be replacing the power jack, completely desoldering him and soldering the new one on this Asus X54C. To do it, remove the battery. Using the Phillips screwdriver, remove this bolt and this bolt. Flip laptop upside down, they will be dropped on the table. It's uh, two long bolts. When those bolts are removed, you are able to remove the back cover. When you expose the back cover, you see the HDD module and Wi-Fi. You have to disconnect Wi-Fi module. Using the flat screwdriver, just simply pop those two pins, Wi-Fi antennas. And then remove HDD module by removing those two bolts, this bolt and this bolt. As soon as those four bolts removed, slide the HDD module out. Previously, on a previous step, we removed this back cover. That's why I recommend you to use those locks. This is the best way to keep all parts and not to lose them. And put those two bolts inside as well. So you will know that these two bolts belong to this part. The same as with HDD module. Just take the lock. You can reuse those bags. You can use a sharpie marker to actually mark. This will save you a huge amount of time. This laptop have a previous damage. He fell down on the floor. That's why he lost some screw mounts and some screws are missing that's why uh, just remove all screws from the bottom of the laptop it's a bunch of them but as i know they are the same length that's why you don't need to remember where each screw goes the estimate amount of screws is 10 just remove all of them before you will start removing the keyword from the top. Yes, I was right there, the same length. Magnetic tip of your Phillips screwdriver will be very handy. You will just take them out. Remove all of them. Remove the keyboard. With the flat screwdriver, just simply pop it off. There is some retainers, you just using the flat screwdriver and pushing them in. While pushing them in, you remove the keyboard, it's one, two, three, four, five. Five of them on this particular model. I remove this HDD cable by pressing like this. Not the keyboard cable actually. Disconnect with the power button cable by simply putting this connector up you can use a finger or the flat screwdriver remove the power button cable be gentle not to crack him because he is very very small disconnect to this Disconnect this connector from here, just put it like this, when it's released, remove the cable and disconnect the speaker connector from here. All those connectors could be easily disconnected by using the flat screwdriver.
remove those screws. It says that it's X8 screws. But it seems for me that the length of the screws totally matches with the screws in the bottom. They're the same length. That's why you don't need to put them in a separate bag. Yes, they're the same length. Basically all this laptop using the same length of screws everywhere, which is helps you a lot during assembling the back. You're not gonna make a mistake with the length. Since they're the same length, I will just put them to the same back and go zip it. Since you removed one of the, this bolt, not one of those. Since you remove this bolt, you can remove the video. The video is removed. Put it away, and you can start removing the top cover. And actually, I was mistaken because there is two more bolts which are located right here, and those two bolts are different lengths. Remove two of them, put them in a separate bag. And start disengaging the top cover from lower cover. There is some clips that you just need very gently to unlock, to disconnect them. you will be unable to work on the power jack this is the power jack without being removing the whole motherboard out that's why the next on your way is disconnection of this LVSD cable of fan connector and completely removal of the whole motherboard from the assembly of the laptop <laughs> 